Grace to you and peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome as we gather tonight to pray through Scripture using the ancient practice of Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina literally means divine reading. So as we read the text and pray through it, you will be guided by two very important questions. The first time the psalm is read, we'll reflect on the question, what is the psalmist saying? What exactly was the psalmist trying to convey in the text this evening? As we read it the second time, I will invite you to reflect on what the psalm is saying to you tonight, here and now, in your journey of faith. And you may find it helpful to reflect on these questions, or like me, you may want to write down your reflections in a journal or on a piece of paper. And you may also find it helpful to continue to read through the psalm throughout the week and listen for what the Spirit may be speaking to you. <clears throat> Tonight's psalm is Psalm 96. Psalm 96 is often classified as an enthronement psalm, very royal in its tone. It's a new psalm, and it harkens back to a former psalm that the Israelites sang celebrating the Exodus. Psalm 96 may have been written to respond from the return from exile and in anticipation of God's further acts of deliverance. The psalm celebrates God's sovereignty and the continued hope of God's deliverance. Now, as we come into a time of prayer and reflection, as we come into a time to listen for God's word, Join me in prayer. Let us pray. Liberating God, we seek your journey with parted waters. Set us free. With cloud and fire, guide us. With gushing waters, quench our thirst. With the food of your word, feed us. Draw us out with joy and singing, that we might know your ways. Open our hearts and our minds to you, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. The psalm for this evening is Psalm 96. As the text is read this first time, listen for the emotion being conveyed by the writer. What is the psalmist trying to say? Listen now for God's word to you. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods, for all gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord 
for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we reflect, what is the psalmist trying to say? Take a moment to reflect or to write down your thoughts. We have reflected on what the psalmist is saying. And now, as the psalm is read again, listen for the emotion being conveyed by the text. Listen for what the psalmist is saying to you. How does the word speak to you for your life, here and now? Listen again for God's word to you from Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take a moment now and reflect or write down your thoughts. How does this psalm speak to you tonight for your journey of faith?
loving God, may your word permeate our lives so that we may live out our call to love you with our whole heart, soul, and mind. In Jesus' name, amen. song to the Lord, sing to the Lord, sing all the earth. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to God and praise God's name. Proclaim God's salvation day by day. Tell of God's glory among the nations and God's marvels to all the people. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord, sing all the earth. The Lord is great and worthy of all praise. To be feared more than all the gods. All other gods are merely idols. For the Lord made the heavens. Oh, the splendor and majesty of God's presence. Oh, the power and the beauty of God's temple. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Let the heavens be glad, let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all its creatures. Be glad, you fields, and all your fruit. Shout for joy, all trees of the woods, at the presence of God who now comes who comes to judge the earth with right and the people with truth. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord, sing all the earth. We have heard the psalm read we have heard the song proclaimed in beautiful music. And now let us come before God in a time of prayer, offering our very lives so that we may live in love as he has called us to do. Pray with me. We praise you, O God, with words of thanksgiving through our voices and in our hearts. Words which can never really do justice to the depth of your love for us. Your boundless grace, your steadfast love revives us and gives us the strength and the courage we need as we turn our hearts to you. Let us now pray to the Lord. Lord, Hear our prayers. We rejoice, O oh God, in your blessings, yet we so often fail to live up to them. Like your people of old, we often desire to fashion you in our image or in ways that we can control. We feel the distance of separation from you and do our best to try to live out our faith on our own. Forgive us, Lord, and guide us back to you. Hear us now, O Lord, as we offer our confession in the silence.
knowing these failings of ours as you do, O God, you still invite us to share your life of grace and abundant love by being united with Christ Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. We do not deserve such gifts. We can only receive them and respond because Jesus intercedes for us in our weakness. Affirmed and forgiven, give us thankful hearts and a willing and open spirit. Let us now in the silence offer our own prayers of thanksgiving. Your constant presence is ever sure, and we give thanks for your loving kindness, O God. Forgiven and restored, we remember those in need, those in need of your hope, grace, and peace. We offer our prayers for those who are ill, those who are depressed and alone, those who suffer from a myriad of addiction, those who stand at the door of repentance, and all those who continue to work for those in need. Let us now, in the silence of our hearts, offer our prayers for those in need and for those who weigh heavy on our own hearts. May this time of prayer and reflection proclaim our thanksgiving for undeserved and lavish gifts of grace you have given us. May your word empower us. May we rejoice in knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, made complete through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray and hear us now with one voice as we pray the prayer Jesus taught us all to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now go in peace, singing a new song to the Lord, lifting your hearts in gratitude and thanksgiving. For the Lord is good, and God's steadfast love endures forever. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God that will never let you go, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of us, now and forevermore. Amen.